Seoul's Cheonggi Chan Restoration Project, a visionary endeavor that has captivated the world of urban planning. Let's start talking about the extraordinary story of how a bustling, congested, elevated freeway underwent a remarkable transformation, emerging as a dazzling river and an awe-inspiring public park that reinvigorated the very soul of the city. In a feat that defied expectations, Seoul accomplished this extraordinary metamorphosis in under two and a half years, rallying public support and forever altering its urban landscape for the better. A legacy of gridlock and pollution transformed. Seoul's downtown green space was held captive by an immersed and imposing freeway, a towering testament to Korea's industrial might. This elevated behemoth, once a source of pride, had transformed into a symbol of urban chaos as the metropolis swelled to a population of 10 million. What was once a symbol of progress had become a stifling barrier, choking the life out of the city. Congestion plagued the streets as a relentless flow of traffic ground to a halt, trapping commuters in a web of gridlock. The once thriving heart of this city now pulsated with frustration and impatience. The air, once crisp and invigorating, now hung heavy with the acrid stench of smog, a constant reminder of the toll that progress had exacted on the environment. Noise pollution, like an omnipresent specter, haunted the streets, drowning out the melodic symphony of life with the relentless cacophony of honking horns and roaring engines. The soul of the city cried out for respite, for a chance to breathe and rejuvenate amidst the concrete jungle. The towering freeway, once a symbol of modernization, had inadvertently become a blight upon the city's livability. It cast a long shadow over the vibrant green spaces below, suffocating the essence of nature that sought to flourish in the heart of Seoul. Yet, within the heart of the city, hope flickered. Visionaries, led by Dr. Kiang Huang, dared to dream of a transformation, of reclaiming the downtown green space and restoring it to its former glory. The Genesis of a Bold Vision in the annals of urban planning, few tales are as daring and visionary as that of Dr. Kian Huang and his intrepid colleagues. Armed with audacity and a fervent imagination, they embarked on a mission to breathe new life into Seoul's Cheonggi Chan River and transform the urban landscape into a captivating oasis. Their audacious plan demanded nothing short of demolishing the intrusive freeway that suffocated the city, unveiling the hidden river that lay dormant beneath and crafting a downtown haven that would leave visitors and residents spellbound. Such a bold vision, however, was met with skepticism. Doubters questioned the feasibility of demolishing a major freeway and the potential impact it would have on travel times in downtown Seoul. But Dr. Kian Huang and his team stood firm, armed with an arsenal of traffic models that defied expectations. As the traffic models unveiled their secrets, a surprising revelation emerged not only would the restoration project succeed, but it would also improve travel times in the bustling heart of Seoul. The audacious plan that had been dismissed as a mere dream suddenly acquired a foundation of data, bolstering the conviction of the visionaries. Undeterred by naysayers, Dr. Huang and his team forged ahead, fueled by a belief that the restoration of the Cheonggi Chan River would unlock a multitude of benefits for the city. They were unafraid to challenge the status quo question the conventions of urban planning and redefine what was possible in the realm of rejuvenating urban spaces. Their vision was not one of mere pragmatism, but of enchantment. They envisioned a downtown oasis where nature could thrive amidst a concrete jungle, where the soothing melodies of flowing water would harmonize with the rhythms of the city. It was a vision that captured the hearts and minds of those who dared to dream alongside them. From dream to reality, public support and political will. As the mayoral election approached, Dr. Wing and his determined team seized the opportunity to present their audacious proposal to the candidates vying for Seoul's leadership. It was a pivotal moment that would determine the fate of the restoration project. Amidst the contenders, one candidate stood out, embodying the spirit of unwavering determination and the promise of transformative change, Liam Young Back. With unwavering conviction, Liam Young Back embraced the restoration project as a centerpiece of his campaign. His rallying cry resonated with the citizens of Seoul, who yearned for a city that could breathe, that could rediscover its connection to nature and reclaim its cultural heritage. Against all odds, 
he emerged triumphant, securing victory and igniting a spark of hope for a brighter future. The ascension of Liam Young back to the mayoral office marked a turning point in Seoul's history. It was a resounding endorsement of the bold vision put forth by Dr. Wang and his team, a testament to the power of public support and the recognition of the project's potential to revitalize the city. The people had spoken, and their voices echoed with a collective desire for change. With the weight of public support behind him, Mayor Liam Young back wasted no time in setting the wheels of transformation in motion. He understood the urgency of the project and the immense responsibility that lay upon his shoulders. Seoul's grand transformation, long confined to dreams and aspirations, was about to become a tangible reality. The restoration project received a surge of political will, propelling it forward with unwavering momentum. The new administration's commitment to making the project a priority ensured that the necessary resources, both financial and human, would be allocated to bring the vision to life. It was a testament to the resilience of a city that dared to dream, and to a government that recognized the significance of reimagining urban spaces. With public support and political will aligned, the restoration project entered an era of unparalleled progress. The dreams of Dr. Wang and his team, once dismissed as impractical fantasies, were now embraced by a city hungry for change. Seoul braced itself for the grand transformation that was to unfold, a testament to the power of collective vision and determined leadership. The journey from dream to reality was not without its challenges, but the unwavering commitment of Mayor Liam Young back and the collective spirit of the people propelled the project forward. As the wrecking ball swung and the river flowed freely once more, Seoul was on the cusp of a transformation that would redefine its identity and serve as a beacon of inspiration for cities around the world. The restoration project had transitioned from a mere proposal to an unstoppable force, a testament to the enduring power of public support and political will. Overcoming obstacles and skepticism. The project encountered resistance from the public, especially the 3,000 street vendors who feared that the removal of the freeway would jeopardize their livelihoods, as their businesses thrived on the traffic congestion it caused. However, the mayor, driven by a visionary outlook, recognized the concerns and took proactive measures to address them. With a commitment to transparency and inclusivity, the mayor assembled a dedicated team tasked with engaging the public. Their mission was to foster dialogue, assuage fears, and garner support for the restoration project. Through open forums, consultations, and robust communication, they were able to bridge the gap between the project's vision and the concerns of those directly affected. In 2003, after meticulous planning and extensive public engagement, the project secured the necessary funding to proceed. A monumental effort ensued, mobilizing an astounding 700,000 skilled workers to bring the transformation to fruition. The scale of the endeavor was immense, with a price tag nearing a billion dollars. It was a testament to the unwavering determination of all those involved, their resolute commitment to realizing the vision and their recognition of the project's potential to reshape the city. An unveiling of splendor. Two years later, the curtain lifted, unveiling a spectacle beyond imagination. The once blight-induced freeway had metamorphed into a 3.6-mile linear green river park, a resplendent jewel adorning downtown Seoul. This remarkable restoration not only bestowed beauty upon the city, but also heralded a cascade of positive effects. Environmental and societal rejuvenation. The crowning achievement of the Changi Chan Restoration Project was the creation of an environment teeming with vitality. With the river flowing freely once again, biodiversity flourished, witnessing an astounding 639% increase. The return of fish, birds, and insects to the area infused the park with a symphony of life. Furthermore, the project fought the urban heat island effect, with temperatures along the riverfront consistently cooler than the surrounding areas. Air quality in downtown Seoul experienced a dramatic improvement, with a remarkable 35% drop in small particle air pollution, an inspirational blueprint for urban renewal. Seoul's triumph has ignited a spark of inspiration in cities across the globe, offering a blueprint for urban revitalization. The project's focus on dismantling toxic highways, cultivating green spaces, and restoring natural habitats not only reaps economic benefits, 
but also enriches the health and well-being of residents and visitors alike. Expressway demolition endeavors and river restoration initiatives can find guidance and hope in Seoul's Chongqi Chain Project, fueling the momentum towards greener, more sustainable futures. That's all for the video today. We will be right back with more videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.